Hi, in this video, I am going to show you the basics of editing our graph templates. Our graph templates are very easy to edit. I am going to take you through some very simple instructions that show you the various ways in which you can edit our graph templates. First, let us say we want to change the color of the line in this line chart. I have selected the specific line I want to change the color of. I go to shape outline and I choose a different color. As you can see here, as I move my cursor over the different options, you can see the preview here. When you are happy with the specific choice, you can make the selection. Now we have changed the line color. Second, if you want to add a background to the chart area, you can do. I wouldn't really recommend you do this, but then this is to show you that it is possible for you to edit the chart area. Now I have selected the chart area. You can see that there is this white square that indicates that the chart area has been selected. Now I can add a shape fill or I can add a gradient fill. I can add a texture fill or I can add even a picture fill like say this one and say insert and I have a picture fill. So those are the different ways in which you can add a background to your charts. Let me press Ctrl Z which is the shortcut for undo to take it back to the way it was originally. Ctrl Z and Ctrl Z. Now we have the chart in its original form. It is essential that the text that you include in the chart is easily readable even for the last person in the last row in your audience. If you want to increase the font size of all the text here inside the chart, all you need to do is to select somewhere on the chart and then click on the bounding box. As soon as you click on the bounding box, which is shown by this double line here, whatever changes you make to the font size impacts all the text which is included inside the bounding box. Let us say I want to increase the font size. As you can see here, as I increase it, all the fonts here are increasing. Let me go back and keep it the way it was. So that is the way that you edit the font sizes. The next thing is to add access labels. To do that, you have a beautiful little option here called as chart elements option. You can use either this option or you can go to design and you can add chart elements here. This is the way that you need to do if you are using PowerPoint 2010. In PowerPoint 2013, you have this option available. Whether you use this option or this option, it is going to be pretty much the same. Let me show you how you can add your access titles. I'm going to click here. Here you have the options to add whatever that you want to add as a chart element. For example, if I want to add access titles, as soon as I place my cursor here, you can see that the access titles are available. I can click on it. Either I can have both the access titles or if I want to choose only to have primary a vertical axis, I can choose that and I say click here and that is available. Now I can make the change by just selecting the text and then making the change. Say like for example, number of units is what is shown here. Now the next thing is if I want to add some other chart element, let us say I go here and if I want to add a chart title, I just need to click on it and I will have the chart title available. If I want to change the position of the chart title, I can do so by clicking on this small triangle here and it can do that as centered overlay or any other option that you want to have. Say for example, if I go to more options, then I can choose the various other ways in which I can impact the chart title. Now let us say I don't want chart title, so I just need to go there and uncheck it and I don't have the chart title available now. The next thing is about the legends. Now let us see how to add or remove legends. Here I have my legends available here at the bottom. If I want to change the position of the legends to say top, I can click on it and it will be positioned at the top. If I don't want the legends at all, I can uncheck it and there will not be any legends. Of course, you need legends and uh, that is something I want you to always remember that you need the legends. I am going to have this in the bottom. Now, as you can see here, I have additional legends that have come here, which I don't want. And if I don't want that, all I need to do is to select the specific legend. And when I do that, you will see that these kind of markers appear. I just can delete by selecting them. I don't want the label three as well and that is it. So that is how you work with 
the legends the next thing is about the grid lines now I am going to go to the chart elements once again and let us say I don't want the grid lines I can uncheck it and I will not have any grid lines if I want it back I will go and click on the grid lines if I want different types of grid lines I can do that as well say for example if I want primary major vertical primary major horizontal I can do all that kind of stuff it is completely in your hands so like that you can make alterations to all the other options here in terms of the chart elements next let us go to some of the elements that we have voluntarily added to the charts to make the chart look a little more attractive for example we have added this element which is a which is an editable element to highlight a certain part of the graph you are free to move this to draw the viewers attention to any specific part of your chart and that is the reason why we have included this so feel free to move these wherever you want next in terms of the positioning of the text you have these text boxes available you can move these text boxes wherever you need let us go to the next one this is a column chart now here if you want to change the fill of the columns you have the total liberty to change the fill color you can add a gradient if you want to you can add texture like the way that we mentioned earlier all those options are completely available for you another thing that many people don't know is even if you want to add a quick style you can do so I have selected the columns here I go to quick style and I can change the look and feel of these various columns by clicking on these quick styles as well let us go to the next option here this is a fancy pie chart as I might have mentioned earlier when I was talking about the ways to edit different types of charts you would realize that this pie chart is placed on top of this background graphic now this background graphic once again is totally editable if you want to change the nature of this background graphic you can do that by changing the shape fill you can change the inside fill everything is completely editable let me press ctrl z to get it back to its original position the same way this portion which is added to give a 3d floor can also be moved you can remove the uh, shadow here by just selecting this and you can remove the shadow if you want so all the elements are totally editable let us go further the next template is this one which is basic pie chart with gloss now let us see how to change the chart type now I select this chart as it is obvious it is a pie chart let us say I want to convert this into a donut chart all I need to do is after selecting the chart I go to design and go to this option called change chart type and as soon as I do that I am given the various other options to which I can change it I can choose this donut chart and you can see the preview instantly and then I say ok and now my pie chart is converted into a donut chart realize that all the other design elements that we have included earlier still are retained including the bevels that we have applied now let us go to the next chart as you can see here this is a donut chart I want to show you how exactly to instantly change the color theme of this specific chart I select the chart then I go to design and I can choose to change colors instead of this monochromatic fill I can choose to have this kind of option which is color 3 which is very colorful or I can have this or I can have this or I can have this to represent my different segments and of course as I mentioned earlier these are completely editable you can remove them or you can keep them and if you want to change the colors of these you can do so as well so these are totally editable vector elements the same is the case with these kind of grid lines the same is the case with these grid elements as well you can always move them out or move them in to suit your requirements these are added more to give a design touch the next one is this one which is a 3d bubble chart I want to show you how you can change the layout very quickly now this is a very simple bubble chart if you want to have a different version by way of chart style you can do so 
by just going to these various options. As you can see, as I move my cursor over the different chart style options, you can see the way this chart is impacted by them. The same way, if I want to add a different kind of a layout for this chart, I can do so by going to these options as well. As you can see here in this, I have a chart title and I have access titles and I have my legends available readily. If I want to change this to this type, you can see that there are different types of grid lines available. If I want to change this, it shows some equations. So those are the different ways in which I can make alterations to the chart that is available. The basic thing that I want to impress upon you is our charts are created entirely inside PowerPoint. So whatever way in which you would edit any PowerPoint chart, you can edit our charts as well. And I have shown you in a lot of different videos how exactly to edit the chart. To edit the numbers inside the chart, all you need to do is to right click on the chart, go to this edit data option. Now here you have two ways in which you can edit data. One is to edit data right inside PowerPoint or you can edit data in Excel 2013. For most part, you would have seen that I've used just edit data inside PowerPoint because it's very simple for you to do. I just click on edit data and I have this worksheet open up. I make my changes here and the changes will reflect inside this chart. So that is how I edit my numbers. So those are some of the simple ways in which you can edit the various aspects of our chart templates. Hope you really liked this information. In the next video, I'll show you some other ways in which you can edit our chart templates. See you in the next video.